said she let her dog out and a snake was hissing and rattling at it. So good little snake. Oh yeah, he's a little one. So is this snake chasing me? It's coming towards me clearly. The mistake that people will make is to assume that snakes are going to think like we do. First call coming in today at six o'clock in the morning. Not super early, but I wasn't able to be as, as lazy as I was hoping to be this morning. Guy has a snake by his pool equipment. It's coiled up. Uh, this time of morning, it's not gonna stay there super long. It's gonna stay there until the sun touches it and then it's out of there and it's gonna go hide. So that gives me a little bit of a time limit to get there. Uh, every morning is like that. People call us at sun up and say, hey, there's a snake here sitting in the shade by the side of the house. Well, we have between when they call us and the sun touches them to get there or else we may not catch that snake. So fortunately, I am only 15 minutes away from this one, so I don't think that's gonna be a problem. How's it going? How are you? Good. We've lived for three and a half years, I've never had a snake in my backyard. Really? Never. Well, they've probably been here before. They're just, they're good at what they do, which is not be seen. Well, you got that wash that's kind of behind you there. Yep. That's gonna be why they're, why they're here. And that pool equipment, that's where he's at? No, uh, he's underneath the, the, like, the floaters that we keep. Oh, okay. He's all wrapped up and curled up. <laughs> that, thing, that roll thing, it rolls. He's in that back right corner. Okay. Not a lot of places he can go, so. Yep, there he is. It's kind of a teenager, I guess. Yeah. Which is good. Good news when they're when they're kind of young like that. Yeah. It more or less means they, they they're not as he's not here because he loves being here. He's here because he's here. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't mean you have a, a snake problem. Right now, their whole life history is is they're trying to stay out of the heat. Oh. So any place they can do that, uh, anything near a pool, these kind of areas back here where people don't really hang out. Headed to a call in Phoenix. Lady called. She said she let her dog out and a snake was hissing and rattling at it. She says it is a rattlesnake. So we will see. It is. I'm 10 minutes away. Uh, she's keeping an eye on it for me. Let's go. Hello. Hi. How are Hi. you? All right. How are you? Great. This little one found it. Yeah. I was taking her out. She doesn't walk very well, so Hi. I was Hi. I'm glad you saw it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean they probably just can fall right down in here. Yeah. Now. Yeah, it's a good eye too. You saw that. Yeah. Hey did. Speck. <laughs> I was trying to get a close up look and I think yeah. Speckled rattlesnake. Let me get a picture of it. It's just chilling. It might have just chilled there all day if you went to seen it. Was the other ones do you remember if they were speckled rattlesnakes also? I don't remember. What would the alternative be? Oh, oh yeah, he's a little one. Look. Yep, just a little, little one. Uh, Western Diamondback, probably. Oh, no, yeah, I think it was speckled. You can yeah. come take a, a look here in the bucket if you want. I can? Okay. Yeah. The tail seemed bigger than that. Maybe it was, he's like, pretty. trauma from a These ones thing. don't get, I mean, they do get bigger than this, but they're oh, not okay. huge species. He is younger. Mm -hmm. His tail is all tapered, but. Oh, so good. Love it. Yeah. Right we don't tend to hang out with each other, but I will definitely look for you along here. Let's make sure. Another speckled rattlesnake. This one's from the Phoenix Mountain area. You're okay. Well, that's a hole. There you go. See you, Speck. 
Can't even hear it anymore. It's a deep hole, perfect, exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna get back to the pool. Got to find a spot to put this guy. The weather is just amazing today. I mean, it's hot, but there's humidity and there's clouds behind me. I wish I had time to stay here and look for look for snakes in this environment. It's gonna be a lot of diamondbacks, some hobby rattlesnakes most likely. All right, I got a good spot here. Let me show what I'm looking at. Okay, in this release, we're gonna try something here. Behind me is a great spot for this snake to go. Lots of good hiding spaces. The other side of the camera, not so much. So I'm in the way. I'm gonna put the snake here and I'm gonna see if I can get it to come towards me and simulate what a lot of people think is a rattlesnake chase. It's gonna depend on whether or not the snake actually sees the cover behind me. Because if not, it's just gonna back up. Let's watch what happens. a little squirrely for this experiment. You can put him right here. I'm just gonna kneel down right here. Let's see what he does. He sees the cover. Oh, he's coming towards me. So is this snake chasing me? It's coming towards me, clearly. What will happen if I move? Suddenly, the snake is not chasing me anymore. It's just going that way. And this very easily explains a lot of times why people that see snakes that are coming towards them rattling like that, that could have looked very much like a chase. That was not chasing me. He was trying to get to cover. The mistake that people will make is to assume that snakes are going to think like we do. Of course they're not. to make that point. Just because something's coming towards you does not mean it's chasing you. Just because you run away from something doesn't mean it's trying to kill you. Or because you're scared of something that it's dangerous. 